Hello YouTube, I'm so excited. I want to show you my new amplifier. It's the RF2KS. It's an amplifier from RF Kits from Germany and it's going to be my replacement for my OM2000+. Plus. Now you're probably asking, hey what are you going to do with your OM2000? Well, I'm going to keep it. It's also an awesome amplifier. It's a tube amp and I want to keep it. So uh, I don't know, I guess I'm going to hoard uh, amplifiers because I got a Mercury 3 and I just got, I just sold my Acom 1000 to get the Mercury 3 and I got the OM2000 and now I have the RF2KS. So stand by, stay tuned, let me show you what this amplifier can do. This is the RF2KS kit. Actually, no, it's not a kit. It's already fully assembled. But uh, I'm sorry to say that the price has increased due to supply and demand. It's, uh, the parts are hard to come by. So the price has increased by 10%. The price now is like $5,490. The distributor here in the U.S. is Island Amplifiers. But I wanted to show you my setup. So here you have inputs of four antennas and I've already tuned my frequencies uh, throughout all the bands. It's really easy to tune. It's RF sensing. If you notice up here on the upper right, it's connected via universal. And the thing about this amplifier, because I'm an airline pilot, I can use this in my hotel room using real VNC I can control and monitor my amplifier also when I'm remoting in I use this radio right here that's the ICOM 7610 using the RSBA1 software alright so currently if you look we're on the 40 meter band okay right now the amplifier is showing you we're on 80 meters so what I'm going to do I'm going to put the radio in CW and if you look closely up here the frequency is going to sense I'm on 7.195 and you will see the SWR down the bottom here and the power output is out here on the top and then the reflected is in the middle. I'm just going to key with CW. Let me. The frequency is clear. And power output is only 10 watts. If you notice here that the amplifier is in standby. All right, I just want to tune to this band. Again, the frequency 3930. 3, 2, 1. That's it. I'm already at 7195 SWR with 10% of power. It's registering as 1.16. All I need to do is turn on the amp. Let me move the frequency a little bit, get off frequency. I'm on 7192 and with 10% power, it's putting out 580 watts with an SWR of 1.02. Okay, that's only with 10% power. I'm going to increase the power now. Okay, I'm going to go with 30% on power, just 30% from the ICOM 7610. Check out the forward and reflected. 1525 watts, SWR is 1.03. Now, if I'm going to switch bands real quick, all right, let's say we want to go to 20 meters. All right, I'm just going to go in 20 meters. Turn off my amplifiers now in standby. We're in 20 meters. I'm going to show you. 14277 on the CW. Okay. Here we are. And I'm pushing 10% power. I don't want, I don't like to go full power 30 watts right away. Let's go low power 
10% and just key instantaneously we're at 20 meters and on 20 meters I can go to 32% power I already had it tuned up and with 32% power let's turn on the amplifier put it online I'm gonna move off frequency a little bit let's go uh, 14266 here it is SWR 1.1 1467 power output okay 17 meters let's take a look at 17 meters amplifier is going to go off and uh, correction standby and I'm on a frequency of 18150 all right 18150 I'm going to go to 10% power down here in the bottom left it says the it shows the band at 20 meters and the frequency in the upper right corner 14266 I am now at 18.150 and all I need to do is key on the CW just key automatically switches bands switches uh, the coupling of the tuner the trans match and it's perfect so here we go um, bring it up to 38% power should give me about legal limit okay here we go online that's right 1527 SWR is 1.07 the antenna that I'm using it's the 0543 feet antenna it's a vertical and um, it's very good antenna the only problem you know verticals you, you know that vertical antennas pick up a lot of noise compared to wire antennas or beams I, I like it and in, in my area too there's a lot of RFI it goes away it comes back uh, I get it repaired throughout the neighborhood and it comes back that's the whole nature of having power lines overhead in your neighborhood and Mike KG2 Mike Mike he came by today to uh, help me out a little bit. I showed him my new amplifier. And uh, he's considering to get one of these. So he's on the list for Mercury. Mercury 3S or either the Lux. But after looking at this, I don't know, he might change his mind. But the price point, I'm telling you, it's really expensive. If the price was still the same, you know what? I would have bought another one. Keep one here and then keep one at the other QTH. Let me show you some of the features inside the RF2KS amplifier. Okay, we're looking at the front panel of the amplifier. It's really simple. You have a menu here. Okay, it shows you your, your, your voltage, the amperage, and the, uh, the temperature in cell centigrade. You can't change that. Um, in the menu feature here there's my call sign you can personalize it with your call sign uh, here's display you can turn off the display so it'll be completely black cursor on or off and standard and a sleeper timer you know puts the amplifier to sleep I got mine set to uh, 60 minutes um, you can turn on and off the bands here like for example my antenna is not tuned for 160 I can deselect it just like that and um, I saw a feature the type for those that are doing contesting you can push that and it goes into a contest display so you close this out and all you see is the forward power if you have a fault you can quickly reset it and then get your amplifier back in the game in your contest and we can go operate right now okay it's really easy so let's take that off and go back to the main menu and let's turn off the contest mode antennas looking at the antennas um, you got antennas one through four 160 meters I don't have that uh, I'm not sure what active high is active low and external antenna switch if you know what that is leave me a comment and any updates all right, to check for updates, you just go check for updates. 
I'm connected through Wi-Fi and also Ethernet cable. All right, I got an issue here. All right, the GUI, I'm already zoomed in there, okay. I updated the, the graphics user interface. However, I could not update the controller. I've tried so many times, I'm still at version 148. All right, so I'm not gonna update that. Calibration, I don't normally touch anything there. The meters and the POTI configurations, I don't touch that. Here's my network connections. You can either go Wi-Fi, local area network, and VNC configuration. I left the port as 5900 and standard, and I made a password in there. And if you guys haven't used uh, real VNC, it's a real easy program to use. It's free for downloads. And then interfaces, TCI. TCI is really good. The protocol there. You can see that's my internal network and UDP. That's the standard port. You got CAT. I'm not using the CAT interface. I'm using only universal through RF sensing and then general. You see it right there, default. That's what I'm using now. Well there, that's just a quick overview of my new amplifier and I, I really, really do like it, love it. And um, there's not a whole lot of people out there talking about it. Everyone's mostly talking about um, the new Mercury 3. I, I do like my Mercury 3 and I have that the other QTH, but if the price went down, I'm getting another one of those. Perhaps are you guys interested in my own OM2000, leave me a comment fair price. I'm not going to lowball anybody. It's still working. It's good condition. You know, I don't, ha I don't use it often. Um, and I sell it for you. Hopefully local pickup in Jacksonville. If you're around the area, I can, I can sell it to you for a, a good, decent price. No lowballs, but uh, yeah, it's a great amp. You know what? I had to wait 12 weeks. I initially put my deposit down and uh, I forgot about it. And then I got an email one day from John at Island Amplifiers and it goes boom i need the full payment now your amp is ready to be shipped from germany it's going to be drop shipped and how it came in the box it wasn't damaged it was well boxed and uh, it came by federal express it had a clear customs and the whole nine yards but i was in a hurry and it came in my front door that's it hey if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it gives me more motivation to make more videos for you guys i enjoy it Although I'm a busy person, flying airplanes, working with the family, talking to ham radio, ham, ham radio friends, it, it, it's just got a timeshare with everyone. So thanks a lot for watching guys. My name is Captain Darren and for VFR 73s and have a great day.